But how do you prepare it? Most of the time, I use what's called the reverse sear method. So, uh, you know, I have a Traeger grill, you know, one of those pellet grills, and mm-hmm. I'll set the Traeger to 265 degrees, which is fairly low. I put a meat thermometer in it, and then I'll slowly get it up to about 110 degrees. And then I use a cast iron skillet, and I get that cast iron skillet very hot, and I put uh, beef tallow in the skillet, mm-hmm. and then I sear it like a uh, very, you know, very hot pan for about two minutes per side, depending on the thickness of the steak. And then I'll let it rest for about 10 minutes, then I slice it, and then I'll put, um, like, kosher salt on it. So to me, that doesn't sound simple at all. And I think it's simple for you because you've done it many times, and it's a, a routine you're accustomed to. It's but pretty I, simple. I think if you gave the average person a steak, uh, they would just, like, either throw it on a grill and maybe cook it too much, or mm-hmm. they'd throw it in a skillet, and you they wouldn't have that the, the delicious... See right. that, that, that you have, but it's simple if you just follow instructions. It's like that. I do it so often. It's just like take the meat probe, stick it in the steak. I salt the steak usually, generally with uh, kosher salt or a little garlic salt as mm-hmm. well, and then I just wait. Sure, it's pretty simple. Yeah, yeah. I got it down to a science though, and uh, yeah, I eat a, I, I eat a lot of wild game too, which is more difficult to cook. Like wild game, I'll. S- I'll slow it down even more and get it to like 225, and I'll put it on 225 degrees, and I'll get that up to about 100, a little lower temperature, Mm -hmm. and then I do the same method where I just sear it, cast iron with beef tallow. That sounds nice. It's nice. I'd like to try that. It's very 